Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is CMG Talk. I'm your host, Catherine Gallagher. I like to talk about procrastination. What happens in life when we delay, put off, avoid? And why do we do that? Can you think of something to snow or something that you have put off? Some people avoid at all costs making those important decisions. Now it might be because what if I get it wrong? It might be because we don't feel well informed. It might be because we're doubting ourselves. Procrastinating and putting things off. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. Maybe it's not for me to do. Maybe it's not that important. Maybe it can wait. (laughs) How many times do we find ourselves delaying and putting off? And sometimes we say, or people tell us, it's inevitable though. Maybe we delay it and put it off because we hope life makes the decision for us or someone else does. Maybe we hope the decision will be made for us. It might be an authority person, people make the decision for us. It might be work make the decision for us. It might be society makes a decision for us. It might be that eventually a deadline comes and we're told, make the decision. And the decision has to be made. But often we delay and put off. But what cost to ourselves? When it's in the back of our mind, because it usually is, ruminating, rumbling there in the back of our mind. Do you know the decision you really want to make? Do you flip-flop back and forth? Maybe this, maybe that. Do you say, I'm going to do it, this is what I'm going to do, and then you flip-flop back to something else and go, oh, I'm not sure, maybe I was convinced I was going to do that, but maybe not. The more time that goes by, the more you make different decisions. Is it not okay to make a decision and be able to say later, I made the right best decision for me at that time with the information I knew? Life is about choices. Life is about choices. When people come to me often, they'll say, I know, but if I make that decision, what if it's wrong? But what if it's right? What if it's the best decision you've ever made? But that's not what people think about, isn't it not? Remember, our brain is programmed to focus on the negative. We don't look at, oh, If I make this decision, it could be the best decision ever. No, what holds us back, what keeps us procrastinating is we're imagining worst case scenario. What if I get it wrong? What if it doesn't work out? What if I regret it? What if I've made a mistake? Internal dialogue, limiting self-beliefs, not believing in yourself, not trusting in your intuition, not believing that you can make the decision that's best for you. If you're well informed and you're writing down the pros and cons and you're understanding the decision you're making and why you're making that decision, you're not able to say to yourself, this is the decision I'm making because it's the best decision with what I know. And if I look back on it, I'll say it's the best decision I knew with what I knew. It's different if we're being reckless, careless. It's different if we are jumping 
to a decision without really thinking it through. That's different. But if we've really thought it through, and it's not been a knee-jerk reaction, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. I'll just do that. The pressure's too much. I can't cope with it. I'll just do whatever. I'll just close my eyes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Just whatever comes to mind, comes to hand. Some people do make huge decisions in that premise. Write it down, close my eyes. Oh, right, any meeny, mate. That's a big risk. <laughs> if it's calculated, if it's well thought through, if you've taken an adult based decision, if you know if something is good, healthy for you, is working for you, is it allowing you to be the best version of you? Is it helping you to move forward in life? If it's not, then why are you holding on to it in the first place? Procrastination. Am I ready to make the decision? Am I ready? Or am I holding on and keeping where I am because I'm just not ready? Am I just delaying it because, you know what, I just can't be bothered? Or is it because I'm having too much fun where I am already? But it's the impact it has not just on us, because it can have an impact on other people. If you're delaying and procrastinating, moving on and moving out, if somebody's had the the good enough grace to put us up (laughs) in living accommodations, but we've outstayed our welcome, that's a different matter. Because we end up sabotaging, don't we? We end up making decisions that are actually not healthy for us and certainly not good for people around us. If you're procrastinating and staying in a position in a job or from moving on to life decisions and life changing decisions that are going to allow us maybe to challenge ourselves, maybe they'll take us outside our comfort zone, but maybe they're what we need. We might not necessarily be thriving right now. We know that, but maybe it's scary. And maybe that's what we're avoiding. Because we see that it'll be painful, but maybe it's more painful where we are, but just not really recognising it. Being able to see things as they really are and being able to recognise that hard work and putting the effort in And being prepared to take that leap of faith. Being able to understand that life is what we make it. Life is what we make of it too. If we're prepared to invest in us, believe in us. Procrastination just keeps us at a station that's getting us nowhere. It's the nowhere station. We need to get to the destination we're supposed to be. It's different if you're staying where you are because you're still trying to gather all the right information and make a considered choice. But if you're procrastinating and all you're getting is anxiety and stress and feeling really unsettled and it's not really, then something has to change. I constantly say that to my clients. Something has to change. You can't go on like this, surely. Don't call me Shirley, they say. No, they don't. <laughs> they might do. <laughs> My name's not Shirley. Seriously, procrastination is never a good destination. <laughs> Ask yourself, what destination do I really want to head to now? Because procrastination's never it. When I'm here and I'm stuck, A choice and a decision is needing to take me to a landing place that is going to allow me to thrive. I'm striving just now to make sense of, but I need to unpack and ask the right questions. Where do I need to go? What needs to happen now? 
Something has to change and I'm not making the changes because there's something holding me back. What am I frightened of? Am I second guessing? Am I doubting myself? Do I need more information? Or am I just too comfortable where I am? Even though if it's not working with me, but the old comfortable blanket is familiar. But is it really helping me? Is it productive? Is it allowing me to grow? Or is it keeping me stuck? And it's unhealthy. And it's not working anymore. Procrastination is never the right destination. So if you're procrastinating just now, start unpacking that decision you need to make. Look at the pros and cons. Write them down because your brain processes the written and the thinking word differently. Start making a decision and then go with the decision because you can always reroute. You can always move on and you can always take and divert your choices. But something has to change. Thanks for listening. This is Kathleen Gallagher. Have a wonderful Thursday. Remember, if you're interested in joining any of my training courses that are about to come up, message me. I will send you a link to them when I've got them firmed up at stepupcmg at xln.co.uk. Have a great Thursday. As we're nearing the weekend, remember to make the most of every day and find gratitude as you go along each day too. Be grateful for things that come along because there's always good things in a day. This is Catherine Gallagher, CMG. CMG Talk. Bye for now. Until next time, more talks to come.